Okay, so how do you tell if it's going to be a strong field or weak field situation? Or in other words, a high spin or low spin situation? There are actually a number of ways in which people might be able to tell the difference. You'll, you in this class will only learn one way. And that way is called the spectrochemical series. And this is related to the ligands. So in other words, the ligand is going to tell you if it's strong field or weak field. So you look at the ligand, and the ligand will instruct you from there. Okay, so let me show you the spectrochemical series. And this is posted online for you. It will be given on your test. It looks like this. Um, the ligand, see this line right here? If it is above this line, so ammonia ligand, ethylene diamine, nitrido, cyano, or carbonyl, all of those ligands are strong field. So if you see that ligand, delta is really big. If you see any of these ligands below the line, starting with water, oxalato, hydroxyl, fluoro, etc., those are all weak field field ligands. Uh, and there's actually chemistry behind why something is strong field or weak field. It has to do with the shape of its orbital. That's beyond the scope of our class, so you don't have to worry about that per se. Just be able to use this table. And it's that simple. Below the line, weak field. Above the line, strong field. So you would draw it accordingly. So let's try a little example so you can see the difference. Um, and again, don't memorize the table, just know how to use it. So let's say we have FeCn6, 3 minus, and FeSCn6, 3 minus. And make sure you can name this stuff. So uh, the one on the right, on the, on the left, is hexacyano uh, ferrate 3 ion. The one on the right is hexathiocyano ferrate 3-ion. So, you get lots more naming practice. Okay, according to our spectrochemical series, the one on the left is strong or weak field. Should be strong, okay, because it's got CN. So that's strong. SCN, see it down here? That's a weak field, so the one on the right is a weak field. So let's draw the picture for both of them so you can see how it would look different. For the, so you'll have an energy diagram just like this. Remember, it's three on the bottom, two on the top. This is dxy, dyz, dxe, again, in any order. Um, just make sure you have them on the right levels. dx squared minus y squared, dz squared. Same picture here. So you got the same picture on the one on the right. So just repeat the picture. dxz, dx squared minus y squared, dz squared. Okay, so that's exactly the same. We still know delta here. We know delta there. Which one will have the smaller delta, the one on the right or the one on the left? Well, this we said is strong field. And this we said is weak field from the spectral coming. So this is small. And this delta, let me zoom in a little bit here. This delta is large. Now let's fill in our electrons knowing that information. First of all, though, uh, we need to know iron, I told you as I named it, is 3 plus in this situation. Why is that? Because the ligands are all minus 1. So it's a 3 plus uh, for iron. Iron, neutral, is in the 8th column. It's in the 8th column of transition metals. Because it's in the 8th column, this is a D5. Because plus 3, you subtract 3 electrons. And, and I, I didn't have to write D5, I could have written 5 electrons. But the terminology for transition metals is to put a D in the number of electrons superscripted. So it's a D5, a.k.a. 5 electrons. So 1, 2, 3. 
Now, delta is large. That means the next one will go down low. It's too large for these electrons to go up high. So one, two, three, four, five. Versus over here, one, two, three. Now, delta is really tiny, so the other two are going to go up high. So you can see the one on the left is strong field or lo a low spin. The one on the right is weak field or high spin. Yeah, if it was six electrons, would it stay up there? Or? Oh, that's a great question. If there were six electrons on the left-hand side, the sixth one would go here. If there are six electrons here, this is totally full, so the next one would go here. So number six uh, in the second case would go down here at the bottom left. 